Okay, so the first week is going to be carbon. Basically, it's a an eclipse type of tweak, but it's just a lot better. So it uses less of your battery, so it's going to be a lot more convenient. Also, it covers your dock, your folders, all the surge buttons, and the keyboard as well. So that's absolutely cool. Uh, same thing with the settings. And if you actually go into the actual tweak itself, um, you can select an application and then work through these applications or set dark mode for them as well so I highly recommend it it's probably better than Eclipse um, but it's personal preference so that so this is called carbon and by the way if you are wondering why I've got like flower um, I was on a date and I decided to get this girl this beautiful rose and um, she was quite happy about it and the rest is just a mystery okay so the other tweak is called color flow so if I go into my um, Spotify I play a song I'm gonna actually, actually mute the sound. So again, we're gonna use this Melia, it's a tweak called Melia while we're at it. So basically it just change, changes your volume mode and this thing disappears and dis it reappears. So yeah, we're gonna put mute the volume, gonna play the song. If we switch, also the background changes. As you can see, it goes blue and then it goes orange. But the cool thing is if you lock your device, I'll go into your uh, notif notifications, it covers everything completely. But let's lock a device for the time being. And as you can see, everything is covered. So what we can do, we can swipe down for any other additional um, notifications. And that's it. So we can skip, skip a song, just like so. And it just looks a lot nicer, a lot cooler, especially with this. It looks sleek. It also changes all these navigations. And by the way, this is called Color Flow, I forgot to mention. Uh, so, the, so the volume hood was Melia, and this is called Color Flow. So the other tweak is called Copy Log. I believe it's called Copy Log and I highly recommend you get this uh, tweak. It's absolutely cool. And like me personally, I try, I, with me personally, when I do, um, I go over to this, a text, for example, and I simply click on copy, it will copy it. And then when I go to like Twitter, I wanna send them something else and I like a link. I to room, basically, I will copy a link over this text and I'll get rid of it and I'll be quite upset about it. So what Copy Log does, if you swipe up on your keyboard, it shows you several s five snippets of your recent um, copies. So as you can see, I just copied it obviously. So it says, please like this video. Then there's a YouTube video, which was 40 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, which is another, another video. And then like a repo about an hour ago. And then this, and then if you do type in it, obviously it's gonna like paste it down as you can see, um, as you can see right there. And then like I can press it again, it'll paste it and it'll paste it and you can save as many as you want. Highly recommend it, it's called Copy Log and the link is going to be down below in the description to download this. So this week is called Launch Tron. Uh, I think I'm pronouncing it right. The link is going to be down below in the description. All the tweaks are going to be linked down below in the description. So um, you can do this on any a single application. So basically I've set it to dynamic. Um, you can either set this to either size, but if you swipe left or from left to right for basically you know what I mean um, you're gonna get this so you're gonna get these two applications and you can customize them so it doesn't have to be Spotify uh, settings snapchat it can be totally whatever you want and yeah so it works and then you can actually get into settings like so from settings you can go into um, free trade Spotify and then same thing from this side as you can see it works the same way so this is called launch tron so the other one is called Snapper 2, I believe. Um, instead of taking like a cool, simple, basic type of screenshot, what it does, I mean, when you take a screenshot, it'll go a little dim. So what you can do then is basically, um, what you can do, you can go, we'll go for the green thing. So you can actually drag this little grid over the text. It can be anything actually or whatever you want on the screen. And then if you're happy with it, um, if you're not, for example, you can customize it again. But if you're happy with it, double tap it and it should save it and pop out out the screen just like so I don't know why I'm struggling with this just like so and it's working so you can actually even back out and it will still be there and um, can customize it wherever you want on your all over your screen and you can use your application as you really want and um, what you can do is save it into your album delete it or share it um, or send it to your Gmail wherever you want. So I highly recommend this, it's very useful. 
if you want to save a certain text, a code, a, verific a verification code, anything in particular from one app to another app and highly recommend it. So this called, so this tweak is called picture in picture. I, it seems to be working for my device so I'm very happy about this. So basically what this does, it takes your video out of the YouTube application you can watch while playing games. So um, if I load up my video, just like so. And then, as you can see, there's a button right there. So if I press this button, the video drags down, and I can just close it. I can zoom in, I can minimize it, put it in a corner, any corner I really want to. I can go into Twitter, I can start browsing Twitter, and still watch the video. And if I really want to, I can still play games on my phone device, or even go, you can actually hide it if you really want to, just like so, press it, hide it, I can pause it, go back onto um, YouTube again, and if you really want to, you can delete it. Just like so. It's very cool. This is called Picture in Picture. So the other week I have is called Pencil Charger. See if they're for like MacBooks, iPhones, that sort of cool stuff like a notification thing comes up. So if I do plug my phone on charge, you'll see a cool little feature. As you can see, it says Superhero and it's charging. And that's absolutely amazing. If I plug it out, Nothing really happens, but when your phone goes to like 10%, it will be a little notification saying your phone's on 10%, instead of having a big pop-up there saying, go to low power mode, etc. So this is called Pencil Charger Indicator. So the other tweak I have is basically the last tweak I have is called um, Nude Key. So what it does, you can actually change the gradient and the color um, of your keyboard. So it's not just plain gray, plain white, whatever your keyboard looks like. It's just very simple and I do like it a lot. So. As you can see, it's right there, and it does match my background. Um, so yeah, it goes from like orange to like red, 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 and it gets to black. I don't know why it goes to black, but it just seems to do. It. And yeah, it, even like the colours of the letters, and it's absolutely quite cool. How I recommend this. This is called Nude Keys. So this is it for the video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash the like button, um, subscribe to the channel. Let's get 17,000 subscribe subscribers, and I will see you tomorrow in a brand new video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.